What is up guys, welcome to another vlog. So we are currently at week four. You may be thinking, what happened to week three? So guys, in all honesty, the, the plan didn't change week three to week four and I was kind of lazy to put up a video together of week three. You know, prep lifestyle, it's a little bit crazy in terms of, you know, energy levels, adapting to the change and just really showing up and hitting sometimes two workouts in a day. What I mean by two workouts in a day, I mean like there's cardio and then there's weight training and then sometimes you're just like, bleh, I can't be stuffed putting out content. And that's just me just being brutally honest with you guys. So content hasn't been on point, but yet again, I just wanna give you guys a quick update what's happening. So, so when I first started prep, I was on 3,500 to around 3,600 calories and I dropped drastically. My calories are around to 2,850, right? Nothing's changed since week one to where we are right now, week four. So what gains have I made in that time? I managed to lose around six and a half kilos. So this is my initial weight and here's my current weight. So it's been a huge adjustment. Like my body's adapting really well in terms of just sticking to one meal plan, just sticking to those new changes made in my cardio output. So it just comes to show that when you are dieting and you are following the plan, nothing changes until your weight stagnates. So for me, I'm kind of fortunate. Week one to where I'm at right now, week four, I've had zero changes. The first two weeks was pretty much the hardest, you know, the adaptability phase, the, the massive shock to the system, but I'm managing to find routine now and, and structure so now it's just a matter of just showing up ticking the boxes you know it's like you know you're about to leave the house my wallet my phone my water bottle all right let's go that's the same kind of checklist you have when it comes to dieting or just being on the ball with your nutrition and your training i'm excited to see what happens the following week at the moment i'm just cruising so i'll show you what's in tune for the week and i'll give you guys this one awesome recipe that i've been prepping this whole four weeks chocolate brownies heck yeah also i'll be training with one of my mates i'll introduce you guys to him later in the vlog he's an absolute beast and a weapon i call him the filipino hulk because truthfully that's what he is he's just an absolute beast <laughs> Strength-wise, physique-wise, he's also gonna be competing. Next year, that is, enhanced. Enhanced. Natty Gaines here, he's enhanced. Nonetheless, he's still a beast. If you see his numbers that he pulls in terms of his bench press, his squats, his deadlifts, you'll be amazed. And that's why there's no surprise I'll call him the whole. See you guys, I'll run you through my week. Name, occupation, shoe size. Adrian Sotero, physiotherapist. My shoe size is medium. All right, so. Working three sets, inclined barbell bench press, me and Ed. So, top set will be set to failure. Really focusing on time and attention. So, on the lowering phase, I'm going for a three second negative. One second hold, one second up. Great way to start the workout. Really focusing as well. Bring my elbows tucked in and eight inductions. So then that way, I better leverage my shoulders. Uh, well, don't compromise my shoulders as much and better leverage my, my chest. So. Good work. That's four. Got five. Nice and slow. Your chest is in a shorter position, you want to flex at this position, right? 
holding that position for at least a second or two seconds before again lowering in the eccentric mo movement really nice and slow so again we're going down for those three second negatives one to two seconds at the top good thing about this machine as well we've got this kickstand so sometimes putting your shoulders back or putting your arms behind your torso really compromises your shoulders so it really puts it in this like weakened position so what you can do if you have the convenience having this machine kick that kickstand and then you've already in that position of bench press And then again, the arm pump, it's around 30 to 45 degrees, relatively straight, but 30 to 45 degrees from your shoulder joint. Retracting your shoulder blades as far back as possible. Look at that present. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the concoction, man? Um, free workout and some uh, cardio. Secret weapon. Secret weapon, huh? Yeah. Great is the muscle. Good, bro. So workout's done. Me and Ed are now in the posing room. He chucked on some disco lights as well. Set the vibe, Ed. Set the vibe. That's it. Smile and wave. Smile and wave. So yeah, we're just gonna hit up some poses. So it's week four of my prep. Uh, I've dropped six and a half kilos. Haven't changed anything, which I'm fucking shocked about. Really surprised, but you know what? It's working, so nothing needs improving. Yeah, back here. That's it, and then the yep, arch of thoracis. So the pulse. This one. Don't take your shoes off. No. No. Okay. No. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna practice without. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find it better because you're gonna be without the shoes anyway. Okay, friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you basically got it. I would uh, lean in, like bend, having the back leg suspended, yep. and that hamstring flex. Lean in. Right. What do you mean? Uh, so it's just like little bend there. I'm on the ball of my toes on this one. Yeah, and then do a cable row. 
Okay. And then have you one, up high, and then boom, legs. Right. Pulling your back, pulling your back. That's it. Thrust the spine up. Still the rotate. Really flex those biceps. Yeah, that's very classic. Yeah, very nice. Got a little bit more like hand movements. Drop you up. Back in the position. I'm just trying to stay with them. Yeah. Very much just front relaxed. And then, yeah, have them bend your toes. Nice. Switch on those, yeah, that's it. Keep those abs tight. Front, now buy some variation. Do a variation. Any variation that you want. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. I reckon you look fucking good if you've done a, um, a site like a more um, no. classic with that one. Yeah. So, like with that classic one, so front double bar, variation, go over your face, and then. So, so from here? Yeah. Are you right legged? Oh, are you like. I'm right legged. Okay, so I'll, I'll go from here, step, twist. So, boom. guys thank you for tuning into the vlog so I've got my work cut out this is the, uh, the editing studio this is where the content creation happens right now I'll give you a walking tour of my room but it is a bombshell it is an absolute bombshell I'm just gonna show you one corner of the room and that's this one because it's the nicest one see that that's the vision board over there that's my guitar and then I'll show you a little bit of the, uh, the mess so this is where I was recording um, a few of my podcast episodes. That's so far on the backbone because it does take a lot of time. The editing, the content creation. I know it's a project that I'll do later in the future again, but right now I think where I'm going to be prioritizing most of my focus on is YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram in terms of content creation. And of course, that is my flip chart. So that flip chart is where I was doing online zooms, still doing it right now. I'm, I'm just pausing it. I'm going to resume that at the end of the year after the competition, because this is the sole focus and this is what's taken a lot of the time. So a lot of projects going on with the, um, the flip chart that's, you know, can me conducting mindset mentoring in terms of helping people overcome any subconscious blocks. So that's a skill set that I learned and developed over lockdown, which I'm pretty happy and grateful that I really took that on board and took initiative in learning that skill set. It, it, it cross paths with hypnotherapy, I would say, in some aspects. What it is called, it's called superconscious healing. So it helps people uplift any resistance they have around sabotage, doubt, trauma, negative emotions. So then that way they can step into their true authentic self. I'm not going to bore you guys with all the details, but that's basically the premises of what I help people with in terms of overcoming any mental blocks or limitations that they may be experiencing but but nonetheless guys that is a wrap i'll catch you guys in the next vlog